camera. <laughs> Unbelievable, this is completely the other way around. This microphone. We all set here. Change the lens a little bit. So I wanted to talk to you guys in this video about this 6500 LN Black Dial Daytona. This is something that I waited for for a very, very long time. But then I was completely interrupted by the latest iteration, the latest release from Ulysse Nardin. The design, innovation, look and feel, price point as well is absolutely next level. This is something that I just didn't want to postpone. I don't know, I just thought it would be cool to share with you guys first, considering the Swiss are absolutely killing the game. The Germans are catching up, but the Swiss just keep surprising us with different things. So a lot of interesting international base watch nerds, collectors, enthusiasts keep hitting me up on Instagram about what are the best places to go and check out watches in Dubai. And you know what? I've actually got a place for you. Dubai is home to one of the world high-end watch authorized dealers, a watch company that is still family owned to this date, two generation old with a history that spans over 40 years. This is truly the watch stable of Dubai and it's called Ahmed Siddiqui and Sons. They sell over 50 watch brands and service pretty much any watch you bring their way. So when they mentioned collaboration, it was an absolute no brainer for me, right? So I didn't want to go and pick something from all of the brands they represent that you guys are very familiar with. This is the 75 piece limited free case. Yes. I picked the one. I definitely picked the winner. Let's get into it. This is the Freak S by Ulysse Nardin, a Swiss watch brand that is 176 years old. I mean, can you guys believe that? Based out of the small town of Le Lucle in Switzerland, that is also home to other major watch brands such as Tissot, Zenith, Montblanc, Rolex, and even the Swatch Group. And it's kind of wild considering the population of Le Lucle is only 10,000 people. I mean, 10,000 people in the city where a lot of these watch brands manufacture their own watches. This is just ridiculous. It almost get me to think, I wonder if the supply there is better. I mean, I I don't know that's an interesting point now before we get into it i just want to preface this video by saying that i've not worn this watch outside of filming and have not really spent enough time with it so i wouldn't say this is a full-on review for sake but more of a general first impression video. Also, if you like what you see so far, I'm not far away from 50,000 subscribers, so please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. I would really appreciate it, and it would encourage me also to bring you more content. Now, to get the specs out of the way, this Freak S carries the caliber UN251 that is an in-house movement, which is also a self-winding mechanism. The 45 millimeter case size has all the goods. It's literally made out of three different materials. You've got titanium, gold, and ceramic. It has a sapphire glass and a water resistance of 50 meter but then again water resistance here is completely irrelevant. The Ulysse Nardin Freak S is worn on a biomaterial black alligator and golden calf strap with a golden folding clasp as well. It also got the stunning black stray night dial that takes inspiration from the brightest stars. You know it's kind of cliche to say but that's really the inspiration behind this dial and it's got a double balance wheel in silicone. And now that the specs are out of the way let me get to my favorite part my absolutely favorite part the show kicker here. It's absolutely Absolutely insane. It's crazy. And that is the high tech approach that Ulysse Nardin takes toward their freak watches. It's the flying carousel and that's what they're known for. But this one is a little bit different because it's got a vertical differential. And of course you may ask, what is this watch making vocabulary? What is a vertical differential? Where does it come from? What does it do? And what's the purpose of it? And to be honest, I didn't even know. I had no idea up until this video, but this is where my research led me to. The differential is a gear system mainly found in watches with more than one escapement, such as a double balance wheel or a double tourbillon. And it really has one simple function, and that is to provide the average between two rates. That's about it. Still not clear, right? Okay. Well, let's take a double balance tourbillon, for example. Two balance wheels or two regulating engines for easier say instead of one. They're usually intertwined, so two sets of balance springs, wheels, and bridges with the same mass and modules. They may look identical, but somehow behave differently as they never turn exactly in the same speed, meaning they produce different frequencies, which is something that is impossible to measure with the naked eye because you're talking here tenths of a hertz. Like, how are you ever going to see that? The faster the energy transmits from 
from one wheel with lower transmission from the slower wheel, the more efficient of a result you would get on average. And things become all more critical when you got two balance wheels that are deliberately beating at different frequencies at the same time. You got a fast one and you got a slow one. What do I mean by that? So the differential basically is consists of the same conical gears that links two shafts together. If both shafts are rotating at the same speed, the differential is inactive. So if the speeds are equal, then the differential basically takes energy from the fastest side and transmits it through gears to the slower shaft. That's what it does, right? Bearing in mind that the overall output amount of energy is the same, just varies in distribution between the two shafts. That's all. The freecast does not come with a traditional crown. The bezel is used to set the time, while the back is used for winding. And definitely at 45 mm diameter, it is a complex architecture that combines different materials, including ceramic, titanium, and gold, as I mentioned earlier. Turn the watch over to the other side, and the exhibition back allows discovering this grinder automatic winding mechanism. And yes, you can do without a differential, but with an alternative that is far more simple. This level of innovation is simply unmatched, an eye opener for what is really possible in the watchmaking industry and how is really innovation being looked after and what are we expected to see in the future. This Freak S represents exactly that, the best expression of a contemporary luxury in an avant-garde design that screams Ulysse Nardin all over, which I think is very important when a brand sticks to their DNA, their roots, their original design and try to iterate from there. So big props to that to Ulysse Nardin. And the level of innovation doesn't just stop at the watch, but it also transcends in the post-purchase experience and engagement. Ulysse Nardin is basically saying, here's a certificate that is secure, that is verifiable, that you will never lose. And the reason being is because they leverage distributed ledger technology. Yes blockchain. I know that there are still people that think blockchain is all about cryptocurrency and that's it, but that's just one application sort of what Facebook is to the internet. And I don't want to talk about it too much. I don't want to sound smart about it, but this is an industry that I've been involved in on the system side of it for the past seven years. So I know a thing or two about it. And I can tell you, giving you that provenance, giving you that track and trace functionality to see basically the full provenance of this watch, where it's been, what does it do and transfer of ownership record to a new owner in the future is very, very interesting. This Freak S definitely looks like something that is from the future with its bold and distinctive styling with a movement shaped like a spaceship with its twin silicon balance wheel. It's definitely ahead of its time looking. That is at least the impression that I got. But guess what? It's something that you can also pull off wearing a suit. If high complication is your thing, then worth mentioning that this Ulysse Nardin Freak S is released in a limited edition of 75 pieces, whereby only 40 pieces are going to be made in 2020. And you can see it in person today at the Ulysse Nardin flagship boutique in Fashion Avenue at Dubai Mall. Let me know your thoughts about Ulysse Nardin as a brand. Let me know if you had an experience purchasing from them or if you had a specific model line that you explored and you absolutely enjoyed it. Let me know as well what you think about the 75 piece limited Ulysse Nardin freak. I would love to go through your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.